Welcome back, anybody. Uh, I'd like to say I've got a really nice uh, white pine on the mill here, but uh, the closest I can come to that is it's a white pine. It's got uh, a nub here, it's got lots of little branches, got lots of big branches, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get some uh, really nice pine boards out of it. Um, other videos I've made, my goal was to mill three quarter boards. In this case, I'm going to do something that I generally don't do. Uh, I need some boards that I'm going to be planing both sides, and I want the finished board to be about three quarters of an inch thick. I'm gonna be using that for the actual um, covering or whatever you wanna call it for my barn doors, for the shop. The problem I've got is if I cut everything three quarter, then the boards end up being really too thin when they're done being planed. And if I cut full four quarter boards, then I've got to run them through the planer a lot to get them down to a thinner, lighter uh, weight or to um, leave them thicker and heavier. So my plan is if I cut uh, using the inch scale and I move the blade one inch each increment, that'll give me a board that's approximately seven eighths of an inch thick. And if I take off roughly an eighth of an inch, which I could do possibly in one pass, then I'll end up with a three quarter inch board for the, the tongue and groove um, door covering that I want to do. So uh, let's see what happens, but there's something I'm going to show you later uh, in the video about cutting on the inch scale that if you don't really pay attention to it, it's going to bite you right in the butt. That being said, let's uh, get on to the video. Sometimes a log likes to behave like an unruly child when company's over. You want them to behave, but they just don't want to do it. Once a log gets away with unruly behavior, it thinks it can do it any time it wants.
right, let's pause the video right now. I told you earlier I was going to talk to you about something using the inch scale, and uh, here's my words of wisdom. If you're going to be using the inch scale to mill lumber, keeping in mind that generally using the inch scale you're going to get 7 8 inch boards, if you start your cuts at a one inch mark, you're gonna come down through, you're gonna get seven eighths inch boards, and your last board is gonna be an inch thick. I don't like that myself, so what I do is I start out at a seven eighths inch mark, and then go down an inch from there each time, and then my last cut is at seven eighths of an inch, and all of my boards are the same thickness. Back to our regularly scheduled program.
Here's some of the boards that came out of the log. Um, they're seven eighths of an inch thick each. And uh, one of the advantages that uh, I have found with seven eighths inch thick boards instead of three quarter inch thick boards is the last cut right there can be at seven eighths of an inch instead of one inch, which is the normal lowest cut I want to make on my mill. Seven eighths I can just squeeze by, and if the um, boards are cut at three quarter thickness, when I get to that last cut, that last board has to be roughly one inch thick. So this way at least I get all of these boards the same thickness that I, I need. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed running the mill and uh, cutting the lumber. Didn't really enjoy editing the video so much, but that's part of what you have to do in order for you guys to see uh, the work that I'm doing. So anyway, um, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.